Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have something pretty interesting for you guys. It is a theory about Infernix. Yes, a fossil Lumion that has possible backstory and lore to it. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you get on there, like, and subscribe. Also, we have Christmas Lumion Legacy merch just released. Comes in a bunch of different colors and looks really, really cool. And yeah, links in the description, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so this all started whenever I was looking through the Lumapedia, and I noticed something pretty interesting. Now, like every single one of these updates, I always look through the Lumapedia, and I like to, you know, just read all of the lore and stuff, where these Lumians came from, the backstory, you know, what they're, what they're capable of, and that's when I came across Infernix. Now, if you go up to your mastery right here, right, you click on it, head down it to the Lumapedia, and you scroll to Lumian number 100, Infernix will be there. Now you click on Infernix and it says, Old stone paintings depict Infernix as a messenger of the sun. It would often appear before leaders from a pile of ash. Now, this tells us two things, right? Number one, that Infernix was kind of treated as a deity or a god from, you know, I guess some people. And number two, with these being fossil lumens and these probably, I don't know, the fossil, the fossilization process takes like millions and millions of years or thousands of years. And I just think that it's pretty interesting that if Infernix existed back then, that means people existed back then. And obviously, as we know with the Void Stones, you know, the Void Stones are kind of just the basic crafting material for Lumi Discs. Were Void Stones the first ever capture discs? I mean, something interesting to think about right there. That'll be for another video. But let's get back on topic. So, obviously, Infernix, right? We have Infernix being this giant deity or this giant god. And as we kind of do know, these Lumians are based off of the legendary birds. Now, if you might be like, well, Lucky HD, you know, where's the other legendary birds? Now, of course, this it's not going to be like in the actual design, but it does come in the form of their gleams and gammas. The gleaming for it is obviously blue, and the gamma is yellow, yellow and black. What is Zapdos's colors? Yellow and black. What is Articuno's colors? Blue. So I just think that it's pretty interesting, right? We have a legendary bird kind of deity, right? based off of legendary bird deities that already exist inside of Pokemon. I don't know, that's just something I, you know, kind of thought right there, but here is where things get really, really, really interesting. Now, if you click on Navigate right here, right? You click on Navigate and go to the GeoHop feature. There is actually a little kind of thing you can do where you click on this and it gives you like a little description of basically what this is, right? What these towns are, what these cities are, and if you click on Igneous Hollow, a hot and mysterious cave, Igneous Hollow has remnants of an old civilization that has been abandoned for several millennia. An old painting inside depicts people offending a creature engulfed in flames, which resulted in the destruction of their city. Now, the thing with millennia is that is a really, really big number. That is a thousand years right there. So for them to say several millennia, that means this is thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago. And of course, you know, it's Lumion Legacy. The fossilization process could have, you know, taken a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. We don't really know. But I just think that it's really interesting that we have something like that. And then we have Infernix, right? They both mention, obviously, like, you know, stones and stuff and, like, paintings and, oh, these things depict this and, you know, it's a creature engulfed in flames. What is Infernix? A creature engulfed in flames. I mean, I don't know. Can y'all, do y'all start seeing, like, the similarities right here? Now, we can go to, I guess, Igneous Hollow, and there are some kind of things that might throw this theory off just by a little bit. Number one, of course, being the little dog. Um, the little dog statue that sits in the middle of, I guess, the entire thing. We still do not have an explanation for that at all. I thought inside of the UMV update, we we're going to be getting the other stone dog, the little blue one. But it seems that, I don't know, it seems that we didn't get it in this update. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll get it in the Atlantean City update. I honestly think that that seems like a, a more fitting update, you know, since it's underwater and stuff and... Uh, well, at least we think it's underwater. Now, we head over here, right? We head up to Igneous, and here we go. So, we got the remnants, obviously, of an old civilization. And then we have the dog statue up here. The dog statue, we still really don't know, I guess, what this thing is. Um, of course, you know, there was this one inside of Igneous, and then there was one inside of Gale Forest. But it's definitely food for thoughts, you know, of what these Lumians actually are. I feel like Lumian Legacy, there is... Definitely a bigger story going on right here. Like, there is definitely a story that we... 
or we don't really know about. Let's just say that. Like, I think that there are definitely things that are going to be revealed inside of the future that is going to be a complete, like, shock to everybody. Now, obviously, we look right here. You click on it. It says, what a strange statue. You can feel it peering into your soul. And, yeah, I mean, it's just a dog right here. So, I, I don't think that it would have been this creature right here that would have been the one engulfed in flames. I just think, you know, it's a really tiny, small dog. So, I really don't know on that. But then, you know, we go over here as well. And there's this, right? We have kind of this secret pathway area. And I feel like in a future update, you know, we're obviously going to be able to use these geysers. Because these geysers act kind of like... The Pokemon Brick Bronze, I think, what was it, stone climbing feature? But yeah, I mean, you could just get to a bunch of secret areas with it and stuff. And could you imagine, you go up the geyser and then, boom, you enter, like, this tomb or something where Infernix used to be. And then, whoa, you're going in there. You bring Infernix to it and out pops, like, a Mega Infernix stone. Like, I think it'd be a really cool way to introduce stuff like Megas like that. And also, just in general, I think it would be really cool to actually see some of these cave paintings on the walls. Like, of course, we have all of this stuff, like the dogs and stuff. But we we don't really have anything cool like a cave painting basically you know if we just walked into an area and we saw like a giant cave painting we can kind of just look at it and infer you know what actually went on here you know what went on you know these tens of thousands of years ago but yeah so there is definitely a lot of lore and story to some of these fossils especially with infernix i mean there's not really much others with you know obviously the other fossil evolutions but I don't know. This has been my theory for why I think Infernix used to be a legendary or roaming or, you know, all of the above. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go down there, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.